Hi there, this is Vinny Chopra. As you know, I come live to you, well, not live, through the podcast on sequel to my book, which is the number one seller in USA and across the world. Over 400 five-star reviews. I love it. In about just a year and a half. And I really thank everybody who follows me on Twitter, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, TikTok. We are starting TikTok also. But Apartment Syndication Made Easy, that's the show we do. And I also do the innovative senior living show, as you know, Vinnie and Bo show. And then we do now the Clubhouse show. So we have four shows for you to follow, Vinny. Too much of Vinny. Close me down. No, no, no. <laughs> There's gonna... never enough Vinny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud to have a great friend, Tony, with me. Tony DeRusso, right there from Anaheim, from Los Angeles. I'm in the Bay Area. As you can see, the little background there with the green screen. And I'd love to introduce Tony in a formally. He's a top podcaster in the country guys hold on he's the number one talk show host on voice america and has 10 million downloads listen to me 10 million downloads stop what you're doing listen to this podcast you want to learn so much about you know his journey and how to really do 10 million downloads i know as many of you are you know want to build your brand this is the show for you. So Tony shows how have a syndication, you know, on Roku, on Amazon Alexa, and 16 AM and FM US radio stations. He's an Amazon bestseller also. Tony helps millions of entrepreneurs like all of us. I'm so excited to meet him today. And, uh, you know, to really learn from the success of others right there, he teaches the vision map. We're going to dig into that, you know, the testament to his success and the work ethics. We're going to talk a lot more about the things because he started his first job at the age of five years of age. And I was just so tickled that Tony's wife is Indian, you know, Punjabi, and I'm a Punjabi, you know, right here in USA. So Tony, welcome to the show. Vinny, thank you so much to have me on your show. It is such an honor to meet you. It is even more of an honor to be on your show. I thank God for connecting us. Thank you so much. Oh, such a pleasure. Such a pleasure to have you. Let's go down the memory lane. Kind of tell us, you know, your humble beginnings and how you came and like, you know, you started, wow, you know, your first job was at five years of age. Take us back a little bit. Vinny, I was born in Italy, in Sicily, actually. Oh, yeah. And at three years old, my family moved to Chicago with there's relatives here, so we moved. And at three years old, I took a two-year vacation. And then at the age of five, I started delivering papers. Now, my family, my dad was the sole income earner. We had, There's six of us boys. And so we we did what we could to help give and and support the family and i just made a couple bucks at a time i, re I remember it was like sometimes a dollar 58 sometimes 225 whatever per week for delivering paper but whatever it was for 10 years i gave the money to my mom for 10 years and just to help support the family and i delivered papers in i think one of the coldest regions in the world which is chicago on lake shore drive you think Chicago's cold? You think it's windy? There's there's an extra wind in that area and an extra cold. Well, I, I endured and it, it was quite something. It was humbling. Be and I always delivered papers. I always, always, never, no trick. I always delivered to wherever. And, and I learned, Vinny, the value of a dollar, yes. which is still with me today. And to me, money, I don't throw it away. I give, I give to charities, whatever. But there's such an importance to it because I remember 10 years of getting up at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And it didn't matter if it was 32 degrees below zero. I got up and delivered the papers. I didn't want to, but I did. So there's a difference there. So I did that. And then at the age of 14, I emancipated myself. I, got, I went into fast food and I started to, uh, being a, a chef or not a chef, a fast food 
you know, flipping burgers. Better and than I was going to say, yeah. When I was 14, I told my mom, I said, I've got a new job. I said, I'm going to keep all the money now and I'll buy everything. 100%. I bought my own shoes, my own clothes, books for school, everything. You know, all my family did was I had the shelter and provided, you know, dinners. And I, and I, and I just did because it just seemed to be the natural thing. And so I just graduated into that. And then at 19 years old, I did something that you're going to think is crazy. And you're going to go, that's an Italian, but I've got a twist for you at 19 years old, Vinny, I left fast food. I, I, I went into corporate America where I've been for 32 years. Oh my gosh. I got a job as a typist. Oh, wow. Now dig this Vinny. I didn't know how to type. Yeah. I did. I never really touched the typewriter. I didn't know a thing about it, but I got the job, but it was no trick. I went to what's called a library. Wow. I got out a book and I started teaching myself how to type. Wow. And in, in a short period of time, I don't even know, but at, at some point in time, I became the fastest typist in the, in the company and people would come in the office that would stand at the door. They wouldn't, they wouldn't walk in. They would stand at the door yeah. and watch me type. I was doing 120 words a minute back then. And, and oh my gosh, that just shows I, you know, my mindset is, you know, I only know one thing, that's you know, I, if I say I do it, I will do it. It's that's, yeah. that's what I know. And I did the corporate world for 32 years and I wound up learning a lot, Vinny, about promotion, marketing, branding, sales. I, and I've written a couple of books on that as well. And that's where I wound up. And in the year 2000, kind of fast forward, I, I helped start an insurance technology company. And this is before the internet, kind of, there wasn't, what's an internet at the year 2000, you know? Mm -hmm. And I did, uh, I raised $3.25 million from friends and family to start the company. In a, in a six month period. So we started the company, we rolled, and I wound up being the vice president of sales and marketing. And I learned, uh, and I did and focused on lead generation for the company, really focused heavy and, and did very well in that. Mm -hmm. 2007, I had the opportunity. Now, when you're in corporate America, when you're in corporate, you know, I was making nice six figures, but there's always a cap, there's always a ceiling, unless you're a public company with stock options and blah, 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 you know. And in the year 2007, I had opportunity to start another company with myself as the head and I'm unfettered, unfurled, the yeah. sky's the limit income wise. So I did that for seven years, but there were a lot of industry changes, Vinny. And, and there's a moral, there's an underlying story or tip or, or, or guidance in this interview. You know, I, I weathered the storms, but in seven years, there were four major regulations, rulings, protocols, federal, this and that, that tanked my company down to ground. I'll give you an example. I walk into my office one day on a Monday, one of my clients, I'm doing a million dollars a year in sales on just this one client. I had multiple clients and they canceled. Oh, why? What, why? What happened? Well, another federal regulation came down that that company could no longer accept marketing services the way that they were done. They had to retool. So meanwhile, everything's off. Oh, wow. I got tired of that, Jenny. I said, I need something I can do. I need something that I can control myself. What can I do that's impervious that I can do with impunity? What? I looked around, I kept hearing this word called podcast. I'm like, what is oh. this podcast? So Vinny, when I found out, I said, hey, I can do that. I'm Italian, I can talk. So I started podcasting live show. I called it Revenue Chat Radio, live on Blog Talk Radio. And I just used everything I knew in promotion. And I hit like 500,000 downloads in the first year. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, I, mer I merged, I merged with, a sh with the, I started a second show. I, I was crazy. What am I doing? I've got one show and I got two. So I started a second show on Voice America on their influencers channel. I merged and then uh, my audience doubled. I was scared to, to merge and have two shows going and I merged them. And I was very concerned if I would lose audience, I wound up doubling my audience. And I became the number one show in the influencers channel. And I kept growing at like 
million, over a million downloads and listeners a year. And another year or so later, another year or two year later, I became the number one show on the entire Voice America network. And fast, fast forward five years, just over five years, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing 11 million downloads. And people like my show, Vinny, because I interview people like you. You gotta be on my show. I interview successful people whom I call elite entrepreneurs, which is one of my books. You see it right there. Oh, please! Can you bring it in the front, or is it back? It's in the in the. It's way in the back there, but um, it's called Elite Entrepreneurs. The link in the podcast at below, guys. Please do go out to Amazon and pick up. Pick, pick that book up. I mean, totally oh, thank you, thank you. So much, so it, much hard work into it. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you go to tonydurso.com and click uh -huh. on books, you'll see my books there. And that particular book right there, the the proceeds all go to the Kevin Richardson Wildlife Foundation wow. for his animal sanctuary in S Southern Africa. Oh my God. I don't get a penny. So, oh, so, wow. so that's where that goes. And so, and I released that book and that's done well. And so I interview the most successful people in the world that I can find. Now, here's, here's, here's my premise, my theory, mm -hmm. which is proven. You and I, and everybody listening to this, cannot literally read everybody's book, listen to everybody's lectures, take everybody's webinars, listen to everybody's audio and video files and blogs and, and, and speeches and take everybody's classes. It's impossible. Yes. So what I try to do is take the, the, the elite entrepreneurs, the people who've made it in the top of their game, mm -hmm. top of their category, and I share that with the audience, their story, their success. I've interviewed Wesley Snipes. Everyone knows him. Jeff Hoffman, Priceline, billionaire. Frank Shankwitz, Make-A-Wish Foundation. There's a movie on him trending really well on Netflix. The uh, Kevin Harrington, the Shark Tank original. I interview. Now, before I started, I, I, I probably went past the answer to your question, but I'll just kind of wrap this up so you could ask another. But before I started, as you, you could tell from my roots, I didn't know anybody in the industry. I had zero audience and I didn't know any elite entrepreneurs. I didn't know anybody, yep. but I figured out how to reach people. I love it. I love it. Okay, now let me get you into that same segment. How to? Let's see if somebody's starting. I am, I think, hitting 100,000 downloads now, which I just started about few, you know, last year, I think, with really big things. We were on a different innovators business network or something, but then now we are on lip sync, right? You know, so I think you have probably tricks of the trade, which might be, which I'm going to ask you, you know, where is the best platform to put your podcast? If somebody's starting right away. I'm going to answer that in two, two parts. One, believe it or not, I'm actually starting a whole new subscription service, okay. which is launching next week. All right. Now, there's so many people that I can help, that I want to help. And normally in the past, I would coach a person like you on a month to month basis. And it's 3000, I would charge $3,000 a month. And I've got room for maybe max a dozen clients. And, and I help one of my students has hit 2 million downloads. Wow. Another person I've helped made a couple years ago, he made in the top 100 on Apple podcasts. Someone else I help is done. I think he's in the, Forgive me, I don't remember. I have to look at him. He's either in the Inc. 500 or Inc. 5000 from a, from a, a year ago. So I so I help people podcast. I help people take where they are and go to the next level. And it doesn't matter where you are. There's always room to grow. And I've been. It's very limiting when you do the coaching one on one. As I just mentioned, I can help a dozen people. Okay, great. A dozen people have now shot up. And I want to help more. So I've started a new, I'm starting, it's launching. By the time people hear this, it, you'll find news at TonyDURSO.com. For the price of maybe a latte or a really nice cup of coffee, you can ask me anything. You can get in, you can, you can get all these questions answered at any time. 
and and that's rolling out i think that's rolling out by the time people hear this it's it'll be out there at my site but to answer your question there is so much on 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 podcasting and starting and if you're limited on a budget mm -hmm. it's very successful to podcast just right from your website put your shows on your website if if space is cheap these days cheap 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 so you can just put it there there's companies like blueberry anchor lipson for ten dollars or something a month whatever they'll let they'll do what's called host your audio and your videos because they're, re they're really big files so it's very inexpensive these days and once you put it on your site a number of platforms will take it at free like you can you can Syndic syndicate it and have it go out to Apple Podcasts, iHeart, Stitcher, and so on and, and so forth, it's just like that. So it just goes boom. Now, there are sites where, like Anchor or other sites, where they give additional benefit or feedback or some other perks if you join their program and you pay whatever that level of service is monthly. But if you're just starting out, starting out, you don't really need to do any of that. Uh -huh. Just pay your $10, $12 or I pay $12 a month to, to Blueberry. That's, and they've been holding all my shows for years. Wow. So go figure. So, so 12 bucks a month, you could start a podcast and have all your stuff and you don't have to worry about it. Maxing out your website, your, your, your server or your space or anything like that and just syndicate it. Boom. You're everywhere. Now, all you need now, Vinny is learning how to market and promote it. Yes. Yes. If That's you it. and I know you could have something really great. You could have a good book. You could have a good food. We all like food. I think everybody here will agree that we eat, we eat something. Yes. There's food. That's really great that we love. But it's not out there. And then there's food that I, my opinion, is not the healthiest. Yeah. And it's the number one fast food in the world. Why? Why, Vinny? Why? <laughs> Marketing, promotion. Yeah. That's it. So I focus on that to get to learn how to get stuff out. I I teach that and I've got um, I've got a service where I do social media marketing and I will send thousands of people anywhere. So if you're podcasting for really literally small amount of money, I can send a lot of people to your podcast and, you know, introduce them, introduce you to a lot of people. So that's where I focus. And, and I think that's the key on somebody getting a podcast going. And there's a, there's a lot more to answer on that question. No, I appreciate that. Definitely. You know, I know like in our podcast, we do it five channels. You know, I also do some live shows, which is on StreamYard, which is kind of exciting way to do go live in seven or eight channels. We do it on every uh, Friday at 9.30 a.m. But then this podcast and some other innovative shows we do, but you're right. But let me talk about, you know, uh, is it very important to have the best microphone and have the best setup and I know a lot of people tell me, you know what, it's the quality of the content. So how do we really see who our avatar is? That's the word I want to bring up, you know? The, the answer to that question is many and I'll cut right in. Microphone is important. Yeah. Get yourself a, I could, I'd have to pull it up, but there's microphones, $75, $80. There's a Yeti which yeah. is very good for podcasting. It's like hundred dollars and change. Mm -hmm. They're all good microphones. You have to learn how to use your gain, your sensitivity, you have to, which, and you have to learn various, various aspects. There's, there are mistakes I hear. And I, I actually do a podcast. I review podcasts for people. Mm -hmm. I do that. It's not on my website, but where I find somebody really needs it. You know, we work out, a, a, an actual thorough podcast review. I, I listen to the whole show and I list out all the points somebody wants from A to Z and take, mm -hmm. take up take up the show a couple notch. It's 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 but yeah. So there's that. So a, a, a microphone is key, and a mentor is very very key because face it, everybody listening to this, yeah, I'm going to shock you. You're all intelligent. You're all smart. You're able to listen to this. That's really, really good. 
it, it, it's not always easy to know how to listen to a podcast the right way and connect all the dots. And you can learn just about anything. But Vinny, it can take so long to learn everything. So when you get a mentor, when you get somebody to help you, you can just cut down to the chase really, really fast. When I started, I got a well-known radio personality to mentor me. And he, and he critiques my shows. And right now it's about maybe once a year, he gives me a critique, which is like blows my mind. And, and I just, the level of my shows and my interview and the quality just excels. You need a mentor. Yeah, you could figure it out, but you need a mentor and uh, a good podcast review to take you up a couple, a couple notches. I love that. I love that. And I totally believe in that. You know, Tony, I would like to say when I started in multifamily business, buying apartments, that's where my core business is. 14 years back, I paid 30,000, I remember, you know, to my coach. And guess what? I learned so much that took me, you know, I mean, it could have taken me a lot more time, but it took me a few months to really start looking at what kind of properties I should be putting my time and energy, analyzing how to raise money. That was a big thing, syndication part of it, talking to brokers and all those things, right? Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think some people feel, oh no, free knowledge on the internet. I can learn it and everything. And a lot of people can. But having a mentor, having a coach, having an accountability partner can really get you on a great, great in expansion, which is what has happened in my life. My, you know, I mean, you know, just to say that I just started from humble beginnings with few. Uh, single family homes, then to a duplex, you know, 180,000, I think. No, 180 was the 14 units. And now I'm purchasing $52 million deals and $35 million deals. So all that came not to brag about me, but everybody listening, guys, you've got to. What Tony's right is, is saying is so right. You know, get a coach, get a mentor who has done it, who can teach you and get you to a much faster, you know, track, right? Yeah. So your book is about that too, Tony, then? Or what? Um, I do not have a book on podcasting. Yes. I have done private coaching yes. for, to, to teach people podcasting. And now I'm going to open it up because I can only help so many people one-on-one. Yep. -on -one. So now I'm going to do major groups on a subscription for the price of a good cup of coffee. My latest book is a little, thank you. My latest book is a little bit of a surprise because my books here that you can see here in the background are mostly n n what's called nonfiction. They're serious about sales, marketing. My book, Easy Sales Procedures, has a lot of the basics in it. It's a great book. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, I wrote it years, years ago, but it's got such great basics. And you know, Vinny, before I introduce my, my, my next book, which This is really important for the audience. Everybody here listening to, to our voice right now and, and watching us, you know these words, steering wheel, tire, engine, transmission, differential, headlights. You know those words. So if I say those words, you're like, oh yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, I know that. But nobody literally can go right now in your backyard, in your garage, and build me a car from scratch. I mean, make the metal, make the, make the engine with your hands, make the tires, make the lights, make the electrical system. It's impossible. Yeah. You cannot do it. You need help. You need to get the parts. You need somebody to show you. You need that. That is so, so key. And what I teach, as you mentioned, I believe in the int introduction, and I give it away totally free. I have a book that's not here on my shelf. It's totally free. It's an ebook. You don't even have to give me your email address. There's no sale on, on that. Just take it. It's called the vision map. Because when I started, Vinny, I worked out, what's my vision? What's my purpose? What's my long-term objective? What's my master plan? What's my strategy, my tactical? Where am I going and how am I going to go there? And I show you these like 11 words. But just like I said, I'm building the car. It is so powerful. You got to really zone in. And I used to teach people how to do that because it's, 
you, I took a person just with that vision map. Mm -hmm. He was selling 12 items a month on Amazon. After a month, two months, and two months, no, excuse me, pardon me, my mistake. He was selling five products a month, and it was an, um, a fitness product. After after working with me for on the vision map for two months, he was doing 12 product sales a day. Wow. Look at that. Wow. So knowing those words and how to use them is extremely important. It is the testament to your success. So true, you know, but let me ask you a question then, you know, the, oh yeah, please let's get into that. Right. Right. A couple of years ago, uh, my co-author SKR came to me with the concept, knowing that I'm a writer and a speed typist and, and, and with this concept of this unique world after, after the Lord of the Rings, it, it has nothing to do with it, but as we develop the world, mm -hmm. And developed the story and we issued the book the Tolucan Times which is the the newspaper for Burbank which is the entertainment capital of the world they they said hey this is and they put it in writing this is a unique world in the tradition of Tolkien and I was like oh we we didn't even know we had no concept so it happens after the Lord of the Rings after the elves leave the western shores and so forth there's some truth and there's some fiction in here. Well, the Ayman, they they are very powerful. Picture the most fierce, powerful samurai warriors beyond imagination. Mm. They conquered all the lands. They conquered everything. They killed and they took over everything. And now they were starting to do infighting and they were eventually going to wipe each other out. And God, seeing his creation is going to crumble like this, sent the messenger down and the messenger said if you keep fighting you are all going to perish oh. if you lay down your weapons i will give you special gifts on how to heal and help people and other unique abilities well those that listened to god those that didn't they perished they all died off those that did became the magical mythical powerful imen and that became a myth, a legend, a fairy tale. People didn't even know they were there. Now, that's where the book starts. The book is not about religion. There's mm -hmm. nothing about that. But the book starts with these powerful Aymen who now get involved in helping the prince, the crown prince of Corin, mm -hmm. who uh, suffered a lethal wound and is going to die. And they come out to help him. Wow. And once they reveal themselves everything changes and that's why it's called bitten people see the lust for power yeah. the lust for gold mm. and 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 um beautiful. Oh, and it just starts the book and uh, there's there are seven seven books in seven books written in the series we're going to start releasing them we're just fine-tuning each book mm -hmm. and it's just a rise so every couple months will be another book out it's is just it already a, it's, on amazon Tony, or it's being launched? Is it, it, it? It's now launched on Amazon. If you go to, if, simple, if you go to Tony, D U R S O dot com, sure, sure. click on the books, the link will take you to Amazon. Please, I love to know how you like the book. A review is sure. so important. I would, I want feedback. It's yeah. so important to me. So true. So true. And it's just launched. It's brand new. I'm so excited. Hey. <laughs> Tony, you shared that with us and we're going to put the link, you know, in our show notes. I'm so glad to get to know you and I am so fired up. I want to continue getting to know you more and hopefully come on your show and then, you know, try to do some things so that we can bring the best of the best, you know, the branding. I really believe in, I mean, everybody, everybody in this digital world right now, you got to look at your image. You got to look at your brand and what a better way to tell people who you are and then you get the other people you know, in the podcast, just like what the special, you know, Tony's the master at it for 100,000 downloads, all those things. It is possible. I hope everybody watching us or listening us has gotten some spark. You know, and I know I, I tried to write the book. I said, I'm not a good writer. 
took me two years to write my first one, but then it took me only seven months to write my second one. And now I'm on my third one. And just like Tony said, it is possible. Everything in this life is possible. I believe that, you know, Tony, God bless you. I'm so happy. Any last comments you will say, I mean, you know, uh, how can somebody reach you? First of all, you said the website. Yeah. To yes. Tony D U R S O dot com. You should be able to reach me there very easily and stay tuned for and or look for that subscription link yes. because for the price of a coffee, yes. you're going to be able to ask me anything and I will answer out. I'm, I'm going to give you the $3,000 a month coaching for a couple bucks, uh, but I'm going to, I'm I want in. millions and millions and millions yes. of people that I'm going to help Aww. because otherwise I can't help them. So this is the only way I can help everybody. I want to also bring you into my mastermind classes. You know, Tony, I have an academy, online academy, which is multifamilyacademy.com. I have uh, lectured now 1000 lectures in my, where I teach my investors, my people, how to really do what I do and how I built from $7 to 441 million, you know, uh, portfolio. My goal is 2 billion, 2 billion with a B in the next 10 years. And I know it's going to be possible, but I would love to bring you if you have time into mastermind where I coach a group of very high power investors across the nation. And actually one joins from Oslo also, Norway. And, uh, but then that'll be great. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, we'll that do sounds it. like fun. Yeah. We'll talk offline and kind oh, of go yeah. over all these details and stuff like that. We would love to. Love absolutely, to. absolutely. Thank the, you so much, you know, but no, I'm going to just stop the recording. My digital people will cut it out at the end. But again, guys, thank you. You like the content that we share today. If you like, and please share the content and pass on the good news. Give us five star reviews. As you know, if you get five stars, our ratings go higher. We can get really great, you know, uh, guests and things like that. So thank you so much for following. Look for the next episode. This is Vinny Chopra. Talk to you again next week. Bye bye. <laughs>